Hi guys. Uh, in our previous video, you were able to uh, create some the Django custom user model, which is a customization of the uh, default uh, Django user model, and we were able to inherit the abstract uh, abstract uh, user model and uh, add some forms, a user creation form and the user change form. But we forgot one step, which is to uh, commit our changes onto GitHub. And we'll begin by doing that. So you can start your PyCharm or you can access your project wherever you have uh, cloned it. And uh, we'll just start by doing a Git uh, status. And these are all the files that have been, new files that have been created. And I'm going to just add a git commit message. And I'll say uh, created a custom user model as my commit message. And then I'm just going to push the changes. Yeah, so whenever, if I look at my uh, the website, and I'll now see that I've been able to add and uh, you can see the commit message on the files that have been uh have been added in the users and the website as well so in this tutorial we are going to look at uh, templates and we will uh, create the base template and that base template is uh, what we are going to be using in our website and uh attempt think of a template as i uh, would basically call it a html file uh so the base template uh django uses uh kind of a, it applies what you call a do not repeat yourself the dry principle and uh this means that you should uh, we are going to create like a, a main template in which if we are going to create other pages maybe or other html files they are going to inherit or they are going to pick up from the main uh, base template or the base html uh, file in this case so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to look at our settings for the project and uh, in the settings we have somewhere where we have the settings uh the templates rather uh inside the these templates folder and uh, it has already been set for us uh, be uh because i use i created a django project inside pycharm but if you have created your custom uh, Django project uh, manually, you may not have this. So it is recommended that you add this. What basically this tells us is that it tells uh, uh, this application where it's going to look for the templates. And it will look at uh, the best base directory, which is this my website. And then inside it, it will look for a folder called templates. Okay. And there's also another additional uh, par uh parameter here which is the app dirs so this one also will check for templates inside the uh individual application so if i create a template folder let's say inside users or in and inside websites which are our applications then it's equally gonna look into them uh but it starts with the it's going to start with this uh, uh the templates the global or the template that is in the root directory so inside the templates, you're going to create um, a file. And uh, as a standard, it's uh, normally developers use the base.html. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, asking, it's asking us if we can add it into Git or under version control. So we'll uh, definitely add it. So, so this base HTML, uh, we are going to I'm going to add this and then I use a tab. Uh, let me repeat that. So I'm just, I've typed uh, this exclamation mark and I've clicked on tab on my keyboard and it automatically gives me this. I believe this is also the, uh, the same with the, the Visual Studio code. And uh, this way we have our basic uh, settings or basic uh, the basic uh, HTML. And uh, inside it, we can uh, we can check for uh, the things that we are going to add. Uh, and in this particular case, we are using Bootstrap. So since we are using Bootstrap, I'm going to copy the 
settings from Bootstrap is this website here that's called getbootstrap.com and I'll be using the Bootstrap 5 in this tutorial. So inside the introduction or getting started, you have the introduction. I'm going to copy this CSS uh, to the uh, pointing to the CDN server. And uh, as you can see, it states that we need to copy it in the head section. So I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it in the head section. I'm going to add it after the title. Yeah, we have it there. And then we have the script, the JavaScript. So we have this bundle. Our bootstrap comes with a bundle that, that constitutes of the proper and uh, the bootstrap uh, scripts. Uh, you can also add uh, separate ones if you wish. So I'll just, I'll probably go with this second one, which has a, a link to the proper minified and uh, the bootstrap minified uh, JavaScript plugins and, and whatnot. So I'll go back to my PyCharm and then this, I'm going to paste it just after uh, when you're almost closing the body. Uh, and yeah, and then that's, uh, that's it. So we have been able to add Bootstrap into our base template. And uh, the next thing that we are going to add, we are going to add what you call the header. And inside the header, we are going to create the navigation bar, what you call the nav bar. And I'll also refer this to, I'll also refer this to the, to this uh, bootstrap. I can just for the nav bar. So we have different kinds of nav bars. Uh, we have these that has a search form. Uh, I want one that has this kind of a, uh, uh, the logo or the, uh, the nav, uh, the nav bar brand. Okay. I can also, instead of that, I'm going to, I'm just trying to think around it. I can just fetch this one that has uh, various links. Or I, alternatively, I can also look for one that has a drop down, like this one. So I'll actually, I'll use this one because it's something I, I would want to demonstrate. So inside the header, we'll ju I'll just copy, I've copied and pasted this. Uh, this HTML code. And I'm just trying to align some of these elements. So that they look a bit presentable. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with these, uh, some of these tags, the LIs, the A, anchor tags, and all that, you can refer to the W3 schools. Yes, so we have our nav navigation bar on top of uh, this. Okay, so I've not made any edits so far. So we have this base.html. This is our base template. And uh, the next thing we are going to add I would want my website to have a home or the landing page, which is a home page. I would want it to have the about, and I would want it to have at least contact section and maybe something like blog section. So what I'll do is that I'll begin with the home page. And in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder, new directory, and I'll call it website. So it is a standard practice to name the Templates that are app specific, like now, since I'm creating a home page for the website app, that's why I've created a similar name here, a, a, a folder with a similar name, which is website. So I'll create a new file and I'll call it home.html. And I'll also add it into the, uh, I'll add it into the under Git. So let me just close all these others for now. Okay, so the first item that I'll add, I'll add 
uh, uh, tags. Uh, Django comes with the template tags, and among them we have something that is called extends. And I'll call it extends base.html. So this one automatically uh, extends or inherits what we have here. So think of it like an inheritance. It borrows what we have here, yeah, which is a navbar and uh, bootstrap uh, scripts and what have you. And uh, then uh, what we are going to do is that we can create our, uh, there's something I've forgotten to add in the base HTML. So after the header, we have the, I'll just create a div and I'll call it container. So the contain, uh, container is a, it is a CSS, uh, CSS class that uh, tells, tells Bootstrap to arrange the content inside a container. And then I'll create another tag inside here, which we'll call it uh, a block. Then I'll call it content. And then these are, it's saying there's an error because I've not closed the tags. So I'll just create uh, another end block. And you'll notice that these tags are inside these percentage signs and uh, brackets. So now anything that I write inside this home, it's going to appear inside this block, uh, the block content. So I'll at it. I'm going to create the block uh, content as well inside here. And I'm going to close it and block. And then I can create a, a H1 element and I'll I can call it the home page. So probably add an exclamation and I'll save it. So now we have the home page. However, we cannot access it until we add uh, a view that corresponds, that points to this particular template, which is home.html. And that we are going to do it inside the web website application. We have the views.py file. And now in this case, I'm going to import uh, I'm going to import something here, uh, what you call the template view. So I'm just going to replace this with the template view. So we are going to import the template view. So I'm going to replace this and I'm going to import from django.views.generic import template view. So and then we're going to create what you call a class-based view. So this is what you call a function-based view, but uh, over the time, we, uh, there's a lot of repetition that comes with home uh, function-based views, as much as at times you may not be able to avoid it. So in this case, we are going to stick to the class-based views and we're going to create a class that we are going to call the home page view class, and it will inherit the template a view class and uh, we are going to add the template name which is uh, website because it's inside the website folder remember if you can look at this directory tree and then we'll call it home.html so this is a home page view uh, we, can, we still won't be able to access it until we have been able to add uh, refer to this view from uh, to the u from the urls so I'm going to edit the URLs file of the app. You're also going to realize that we have an error here because we have deleted this view. So we are going to import our class this view and we're just going to replace it with that. And inside here, we are going to add it as well, home page view, but there's an addition that we have to add, which is us view. And we'll uh, keep the rest as the same. And then we can save our file. So let's see, uh, I'm assuming that your Docker is running. Uh, you can see there are things that have been happening here when I've been editing. So my containers are running. 
so I don't need to do anything here. I'm just going to open my page, uh, home page using localhost. And you'll see that we have something. We have the home page, and then we have the header. And remember, this is being uh, uh, populated or it's being inherited from the base template. So we've been able to customize the base template, uh, which is this uh, that we have in the we have it here uh, inside the templates folder. And then we've also been able to add the home uh, page. And uh, in the next section, we are going to be able to add the other pages and probably customize our navigation bar further. So that's it. Uh, please, if you like the video, like uh, if you like this video, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also share my videos with others uh, so that they can be able to benefit from it. And uh, you can also don't forget to click the bell icon in my channel so that you can view, uh, see the content, new content whenever I upload. Uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, let's meet in the next tutorial. And uh, thank you for watching.